guys, my name is Abby and I'm the one who will be posting on Fridays for the Fearless 4 videos. And if you're confused to how this is going to work, then it's basically it's a collab channel. I upload videos on Fridays. Um, Catherine and Lily will go, both go on Saturday and Samantha, my bestie, will go on Wednesdays. Isn't that just great? I'm so excited. This was kind of my idea in a way, and they were up to it, so I was, I'm really pumped that they're going to upload videos. I'm, it's, I'm so excited, it's not even funny. So before I get started on this video, I'm just going to lay out some basic information about me. I'm 13 years old, I'm going to be 14 on the 15th. Um, I'm really messed up. I sing random song lyrics at random moments and no one will know what I'm doing. I write a lot, especially on Wattpad. I don't stop. Ugh, that's pretty much it. Okay, so today's video, my first video, is going to be, um, addictions. I'm gonna lay out, like, all my addictions. Well, probably not all of them, but the ones that come to mind, I guess. And yeah, here I go. My first addiction is watermelon sour patch kids. Why? Because it just is. They're so good. The first time I had them, they were like on a cake for someone's birthday party and when I put one when I ate one, it was just a magical moment in my childhood. It was just Oh my god, it was so good. My second one is a band called the White Stripes. They were a famous band in the 2000s. Um, who, if you don't know who was in the band, it was Jack White and Meg White, and I love them. I love it. I keep listening to their first album nonstop because if I want to get introduced to a band, any band I want, I usually just go with the first album and just listen to it till all the songs are burned in my head. Almost all of them are burned in my head, and I must say that's some cool. That's some cool music. I really think if you like rock and roll, blues, punk stuff, and the color red, you should listen to the White Stripes. My third addiction is the show Bob's Burgers. It's not a guilty pleasure, it's just natural. It's I love it. I love it so much. It's a cartoon about like a family and they run a burger joint. It's just so funny. If you haven't heard of it, I recommend you look it up on Netflix and watch it because I swear to god it's so funny and Tina Belcher is the best character in all of television, I swear to god. My fourth addiction is the famous clothing store called Paxon. I have not known Paxon for that long. Um, it was like the holiday season last year, we were going like shopping for clothes and then I've never been in the store and I went in and I loved it because it was just like, it has a really nice vibe to it and the clothes in there are just perfect for me. Like, I got the shirt from Paxum. I really don't understand it. It's like a UFO over the Hollywood sign. Like, people were like, what does that shirt mean? I'm like, I don't, I don't even know. I got it from Paxum and Paxum is awesome. My next addiction is the writing website Wattpad. The thing is about Wattpad, 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 it kind of like, it got my attention a little more than the fan fiction writing website. Like I could not get into that, but then there was Wattpad and I was just like, it's really fun. I usually get a lot of writing done on it. I'm not ready for a lot of people to see my stories because that's just who I am. I'm very independent and I just don't want anyone to see my writing yet. But if you're a writer and you just want a nice writing website to get started on, I recommend Wattpad because it has everything to it. It's just really fun. You could read other people's stories. It's really cool. This addiction, I'd probably consider it like my number one out of all of these. It's 80s movies. Oh my god. Um. <laughs> I'm just obsessed with any one. Like, if there's one from the eight, a movie from the 80s, make me watch it, I'll love it. No question of, don't even question it, I'll love it. Like, 
My sister made me watch The Outsiders a couple years ago. I was like, no. And then she was like, yes. And she made me watch it. And I love that movie with all my heart. And I'm reading the book in English right now. And I like know everything and it's like amazing. <sighs> yeah, anything in the 80s with Molly Ringwald, Patrick Swayze, any, any, anyone. Like I swear to God, I will love it no matter what. My number one is The Breakfast Club. Everyone knows I love that movie. Everyone knows it. I don't know how they know. I think it's because I got a picture of the movie on my binder in sixth grade. That's probably why. I also love vinyl. I'm addicted to vinyl. If you don't know what vinyl is, they're basically records, you know? I, I have my own record player and it's awesome. I got it for Christmas last year and I am still collecting records. It's so much fun. Forget CDs. The just records are so much better. It's a scientific fact. I love reading and writing teen fiction. I don't know. Even if it's completely stupid, I don't care. I will read it. Even if I'm writing it and it's completely stupid, I don't care. I love teen fiction. It's like my favorite genre ever. I don't know why. And lastly, there are throwback shows from Nickelodeon and Disney Channel. I love Drake and Josh. I love That's So Raven. I love Spongebob. I know. I love them all. I love throwback shows so much. If someone said, hey, I'm gonna lock you in a room and make you watch old shows, old kids shows, I'll be the happiest girl on the planet. Alright guys, that was the video and I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry if it's a little longer than I intended, but oh well. Um, so stick around for the girls um, on Saturday. I bet they'll be great. I just have to remind them because I've been reminding myself to make them more than them. I'm just gonna make sure they have iMovie to make this stuff. I need to make sure they have that now. <laughs> I think Catherine does. I don't think I have to worry about her. So goodbye, see you later. You will see me next Friday. Mwah.